Hello and welcome to Mansfield Adult Day Health Center Update. I'm Karen Amato, the Program Director at Mansfield Adult Day Health. Today we have with us Amanda Walsh, our social worker from Adult Day Health, who will tell us about eligibility and funding options for Adult Day Health Center. Hello Amanda, how are you? I'm good, Karen. Thanks for inviting me here to your show. Well, thank you for mm -hmm. coming. And could you just tell us, we, we talk all the time about, mm -hmm. you know, the program and what we do at the center, but the one thing we haven't talked about is the eligibility and also our funding sources for coming to the Adult Day Health Center. Um, could you share with us some information about that? Yeah, I'll start with the eligibility requirements. So anybody that is 18 or older, older that requires a medical need throughout the day can come to our program. So there's three different things that they'll need to attend. One is the doctor's recommendation in order to attend adult day health services. The next is a TB test or a TB screening mm -hmm. and the other is just an application that they can come. Okay. An so the application is mm -hmm. actually the center's application yes. for services. Yes. Okay. That you can find on our website, or you can come and get a hard copy from okay. the program. All right. And generally, we ask people to come in and do a tour. Yeah, so of the facility. <clears throat> we'll first start off by doing a tour of the facility, meeting some of the staff there, and then we'll do a brief assessment with the individual to see if they qualify based on like adult daily living skills. Um, that they might require throughout the day, the nurse will then send that off to the doctor mm -hmm. to get approval for them to come. Okay, so at that tour that mm -hmm. you do with the clients, um, you would talk then about how financing works for Adult Day Health. I mean, I'm, there's a cost that's associated with coming, of course. Yes. Um, and also there's different levels of care that they can come in as, right, be enrolled as, more or less. Yeah. This um, so could you just mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about financing and also the levels of care that we have available for them? So financing is an individualized thing. So many people could be connected with elder service agencies okay. that could help cut the costs. People that have VA benefits could also get reimbursed. Um, Long-term care policies sometimes cover adult day health services. Mm -hmm. We also have um, an Alzheimer's assistance program through the community VNA that can offset some costs for the days. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, kind of working with people around their means to see what they qualify and also what type of level of care they're going to have. Are they going to have a basic level of care? Are they going to have a complex level of care with some more skilled service? Okay. All right. Now, when you talk about elder service agencies, mm -hmm. um, what t are there specific names yes. that are associated with these agencies so, so people are aware? Yep. So our particular center has <coughs> three elder agencies that we specifically work with. That's Bristol Elder Service, HESCO, and Old Colony Elder Service. Okay. And based on the district that the individual lives in is where that agency is going to be for them. Okay, and when they go <coughs> to these elder service agencies mm -hmm. that make referrals to us, um, what can they expect at the elder service, uh, excuse me, at the elder service agency to find out if mm -hmm. they're qualified? So the intake and referral department will send somebody out, typically an assigned case manager, to look at your financial criteria and put you into a number of different programs that they have. Okay. So they'll look at finances, they'll look at skilled level that they have, they'll look at different ADLs that they need, and then the overall picture of the environment living and what their services are currently in place, and then fit them into the program that best fits their needs. Okay. And then the elder service agency would make a referral to us? Yes, or vice versa. Okay. We would make a referral to them if the individual came to me and they weren't sure uh, how to get funding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you talk about Mass Health funding? No, I didn't. So, yes, Mass Health, standard okay. Mass Health insurance and the Commonwealth uh, Massachusetts standard can also do adult day health coverage. So, they can cover the days and the transportation with up to five days if they're clinically eligible. Okay, all right, and always they can pay privately if they oh, yes. choose yeah. as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and with VA funding, would they have to go through the VA service? Yes, or? they would have to uh, go through the VA service and they would have to go through the aid in, aid in attendance program. Okay. So any VA rep in their town could be able to navigate through this. Also, I could help them connect to a VA rep in their location. 
Okay, that's mm -hmm. very, very yeah. good information to know. So there are multiple ways in which people could pay to attend adult day health services. Oh yes, it's quite affordable once you kind of pull in different resources that are out there for folks. Okay. Now, do these resources pay for the, the day as well as for the transportation? Some and pay both. Some. So depending on your income, mm -hmm. you're in different tiers, I would call them. Okay. And then they offer you maybe two days without transportation, two days with transportation based on your income. Um, but yeah, I've seen individuals get up to three days a week plus their transportation mm -hmm. under these elder service agencies if they qualify. Hmm. Well, that's good. I mm -hmm. mean, we're open five days a week. Yeah. Um, and on average, how many days a week do people come generally? I would say about three. Okay. Yeah, so that's about the average. Three days a week, and mm -hmm. there's that possibility that they could be funded for all three days um, yes. by some agency, mm -hmm. or they might be funded for one or two days, and then they pay privately for another day yes. as well. So there's always that combined financing options. Um, that are available for people as yes, well. Yes, some different people have five different payment sources. Oh, that's it's a, a lot. nightmare for billing, <laughs> but it's good for the individual. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Well, this is interesting information for people to know mm -hmm. um, that there are options available for them that they don't have to pay privately for this service, um, and also that you're available to help them yes. navigate the resources that are available to them and they just have to ask. So they would set up a meeting with you. Yes, if anybody's interested in you know, talking about adult, adult day health service, seeing if they are eligible for funding, just call me. My phone number is 508-339-2119, and my name is Amanda Walsh, and I would be happy to assist them through that process. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you, Amanda. I think that's useful information for everyone. So you. if you have a desire to come and visit us at Mansfield Adult Day Health, feel free to give us a call. You can either speak with Amanda or myself, and we would be happy to give you a tour of our facility and talk with you about further options. Thank you, and have a pleasant day.